Franklin Buchanan was born September 17, 1800, in Baltimore, Maryland. Courage and leadership were already running in his veins. His paternal grandfather, Andrew Buchanan, had been a Brigadier General of Maryland troops in 1776, during the War of Independence. His maternal grandfather, Thomas McCain, had been President of the State of Delaware, Chief Justice and Governor of Pennsylvania, President of the Continental Congress, and signer of the Declaration of Independence. In 1815, Buchanan joined the U.S. Navy as a midshipman. He would gallantly defend the stars and stripes around the world for the next 45 years. He was the first superintendent of the U.S. Naval Academy, the first American to land at Tokyo Bay with Matthew C. Perry aboard the steamship USS Susquehanna, delivering a letter from President Millard Fillmore to Emperor Komei of Japan, opening Japanese-American trade. His epic career would eventually land him in Washington, D.C. as commanding officer of the Washington Navy Yard. When the Civil War broke out, he thought that Maryland, his home state, would secede from the Union. He would not fight his relatives, friends, and neighbors. So on Monday morning, April 2, 1861, he walked into the office of Gideon Wells, U.S. Secretary of the Navy, and resigned his commission. A few months later, he was a Confederate naval officer. He had hung up the blue and put on the gray. He would become a principal player in the Battle of Mobile Bay. In the early morning of August 5, 1864, he commanded the mightiest ship afloat, the ironclad ram CSS Tennessee, resting at anchor in the shadow of Fort Morgan as the highest ranking officer in the Confederate States Navy, awaiting his nemesis, Admiral David Glasgow Farragut and the Union fleet. It was his destiny 